So here's a life hack, uh, old cue cards from uh, school. Uh, my wife uh, went to college uh, last year and uh, she was gonna throw away all these cue cards and I said, wait, wait, life hack. This is probably one of the best ways to uh, mask off the rim of your rim on your tire, car, your, for your car, RV, truck, whatever you wanna do. And uh, yeah, so I thought I'd show you guys this. This is a uh, little, I wouldn't say a tutorial, but I figured I'd show you guys how to paint your trailer rims. Uh, as you can see, I've kind of gone over all of the uh, different, uh, you know, aspects of the rim and tire. And I know it kind of looks like crap and it's chipping off here, but I took a wire wheel to this. Uh, given that I can get a whole new rim, tire, uh, you know, bounced and installed and everything else like that for 150 bucks a shot. I have four of them. Two are already done, which I'll show you outside. But uh, I didn't want to put crazy amounts of effort into this. So all I did to the tire and rim was I put uh, a wire wheel on the end of a drill, as you can see here, plugged that sucker in and just, uh, you know, scabbed up any of the loose paint that's on there um, and uh, painted the tires, sort of painted the rims. I masked off the uh, valve cover here and then I um, used old cue cards around the edge to mask it off and it just saves you from having to use masking tape and go over the entire edge of the tire you know and then paper all the way around. This really just gives you a nice clean area to paint and uh, the type of paint I am going to be using is uh, this stuff right here. It's called MRC. It's a really really nice quality paint or MRO should I say. This uh, it even says on it, best quality, best paint, period. Uh, it's nine bucks a can, it's not cheap, but uh, for those reasons, it gives you, you know, industrial strength, high solids, uh, single coat hiding power for professional results, gasoline and chemical resistant. I got this stuff from FACA Fasteners. Uh, if you buy it in quantities of six cans or more, you'll get them for six bucks as opposed to $9. So you basically get two cans free, three cans free, two cans free, I guess you could say. Um, if you're uh, buying in bulk, I got a bunch of different colors here. I got black, flat black, gray, um, and that kind of stuff. So I'll take you outside now quickly and uh, show you what I did to the trailer up to this point, just so you guys can see what's going on there. Look at these lazy guys here. Uh, chilling out in the office, doing nothing. Just joking. Always working hard, those guys. Always working hard. So. Here's the trailer. I took your guys' advice and uh, didn't jack it up using the jacks that are on the uh, thing. I actually used like a car jack and jacked it up and then used jack stands. So this is the side that the uh, rims have come off that are inside that haven't been painted yet. So I just took some uh, black high gloss paint, same brand as this stuff here, and uh, I painted the frame rail and all the brakes and all that stuff. Just took a wire wheel, wire brush to the entire frame and uh, painted that and then I'll show you the uh, the finished product on the other side here so this is what we're looking at so that's uh, the rims painted up with this uh, white paint here and uh, this side's already been done and uh, torqued down to spec so I'll have to take it around the uh, parking lot and just uh, torque it one more time beforehand but uh, I'll go ahead and do that afterwards and uh, yeah so I figured I would just quickly show you uh, the progress I've made on this. I know a lot of you guys are still wondering about uh, what happened with uh, Shifty. Um, Shifty's still getting worked on. Um, you know, once in a while you gotta take a break and uh, maybe work on your own stuff. His truck has become a little bit monotonous to me and uh, we are working on it and it's taking some time, but uh, you know, it will get done. Um, we're just in the process of uh, sanding down the uh, center console on it and uh, getting it uh, in its final stages. Today's a nice hot day, so I'll likely end up taking the uh, carpet or the plastic flooring that he's got, lay it out in the sun so it's nice and flat, and then put it up underneath of the truck so I can go ahead and uh, reinstall it. Because I'm at that point now with the truck, uh, we can go ahead and wrap the center console that you guys saw in this week's earlier video. As you can see, I haven't even really so much as touched this. It's been so busy inside the shop. Um, big customer job here, uh, full, full on, full on system there. So it's taking a bit of time and, uh, you know, it is what it is guys, but I, I keep 
think you guys keep thinking I'm making all these damn excuses about the damn truck, but like it's like I gotta work on paying customers jobs first before I can go ahead and skip off and do you know a job that no one's paying me for. So um, if you guys wanna see more, please make sure you like, subscribe, slam the shit out of that like button, and uh, yeah. So anyhow, let me just quickly show you guys how this works. Give this a good little shake here and uh, show you what's up. And basically what we'll be doing here is just, uh, you know, I got these placed over garbage cans. So the overspray goes into the garbage can, not all over the damn place. But uh, I'll just do a couple coats inside here. But uh, as you can see, I mean, this stuff covers really, really, really well. And you can lay it on really thick too, and that's the plan. You know, I'm going to use this one can for just these two wheels. And it's the same thing I do with those other two out there. I used uh, two cans on... Uh, sorry, one can on just two wheels. I did the front and the back side of the rim, and uh, I did basically the same thing. Just took a wire wheel to both sides of the rim, then I washed it. Obviously, I took it inside the sink and I washed it all. And yeah, and then I'll reinstall these, and I'll probably end up showing you guys this on a later video. And uh, yeah, so I want to get this done because the trailer is sitting up in the parking lot, all jacked up on stands. And uh, yeah, catch you guys on the flip side. Have a great day, guys. Gatlin signing off. Oh, and if I don't see ya. Good morning, good evening, and good night.